Collection and Presentation of Data We can collect the data from various places like we can collect the height of all the students of the class by measuring their heights. Another example could be collecting the marks of all the students of the class. One more example could be collection of the weights of all the students of a class. Collection of age of 10 boys of a locality can be an example. The data collected can be classified into two parts A. Primary data B. Secondary data Primary data When the person collects the data himself is known as primary data. Example A. Number of family members in a family B. Heights of all the students of a class Secondary data when the person collects the data from a source which has information stored is known as secondary data. Example A. Collection of marks of all the students of a class taken from school record. We can present the raw data in such a format which makes it more understandable and readable. We can arrange the data in the following manners. In increasing order or decreasing order. Example A. We have given the heights of 10 students as follows 4 4.4.5 5.1 3.8 4.3 4.7 3.85 3.21 4.21 4.43 Find the longest and shortest student in the class. Solution We will arrange the data in the increasing order so that we can easily find the shortest and longest height of student of the class. 3 3.8 3.85 4.2 4.21 4.3 4.43 4.45, 4.76, 5.1. Shortest height is 3.2. Longest height is 5.1. After collecting the data, we can put the data in the frequency distribution table in which the data will be arranged as per the number of occurrence of each observation out of the total data. Frequency distribution table can be of two types. A. Ungrouped frequency distribution table. B. Grouped frequency distribution table. Ungrouped frequency distribution table. It will just make frequency for each unique observation separately. Grouped frequency distribution table. In grouped frequency distribution table, we create groups which are known as classes or class intervals. In each class, the least number is called as lower class limit and the greatest number is called as upper class limit.